for throughout the years from other whistleblowers or other so-called insiders. Check it out. The powers of the world expect the rapture to happen, plain and simple. They know a pre-tribulation rapture is coming. The Illuminati knows a pre-tribulation rapture is coming. Um, not a lot of people have heard of the Illuminati. Many have. But uh, ultimately, I do know someone who used to be ex or used to be Illuminati, but he became a Christian. He's now passed away. But he told me the Illuminati, uh, and he was higher up. The Illuminati were terrified of the rapture. That's the one event that really threw them off, because they were stumbling and and worrying about how they were going to pull off a great deception to be able to deceive people and make them believe that, say, like aliens took us for re-education. Okay, he actually told me, and, and his words were uh, that uh, imagine yourself sitting in your home and really well-crafted CGI images came across your television of radar of motherships and, and, and video images of motherships approaching Earth from outer space. You'll go outside, you'll look up, you won't see them because they're not really there. Uh, it's, it's a mock alien invasion. But what he said was is that uh, they have these dumbs, deep underground military bases all across the globe where they house uh, the demons and, and the bio suits that the demons use, which is the gray aliens with the big eyes and all that stuff. They actually possess those flesh beings, and that's how they zip and zoom around do these things, okay? But he said they're going to take off from uh, these underground military bases, and they'll go up into the sky, but then when they come back down, they're gonna, there's going to be very few of them, but they're going to land in capitals all over the world. Okay, and then these beings that look like gray aliens are going to emerge from these ships and they're going to communicate with mankind this. They're going to say, and this is what he said. He said, we took the Christians to re-educate them in our motherships up above and we will bring them back soon. But the Christians who are being re-educated are the ones holding the world back from the age of Aquarius because they're stuck in the age of Pisces and and the aliens are going to say that they want to usher mankind into a golden age, a golden age of information. They're probably going to have additions to the word of God uh, that, that are blasphemous. And, and, and this is going to help put the Antichrist into power. It's going to put the, help put the false prophet into power. That's why the Vatican has the Lucifer telescope on Mount Graham in Arizona looking for these supposed beings to come. Now, there's been many movies that have been made pertaining to raptures, pertaining to alien abductions, pertaining to people just disappearing, and here are a few. In 2014, there was alien abduction, uh, and, and there was also fire in the sky, close encounters of the third kind, the fourth kind, uh, 2015's Area 51, Skyline, uh, This is the End, The Remaining, in 2021, they came out with a movie called Exodus. Then they have Knowing, Rapture Palooza, The Leftovers, and there's a new movie that's coming out that I predict will actually try to explain away the rapture called Oblivion Song. I do know that movie is set to come out eventually, and, and there is a, it is about a mass disappearance of people into another dimension. Now, Satan wants to do his best to be able to cover Jesus' foot tracks when he comes for his bride, let me tell you. And there's a few different ways he's going to try to do it. He's going to try to use CERN because they're trying to tap into other dimensions with that. He's going to use false uh, alien abduction scenario, a false alien abduction scenario. Or he's going to use the neutron bomb. It's a bomb that can go off that can destroy biological matter but leave infrastructure intact. So he's going to try to have either like a, a, an event where he's going to try to make it look like we weren't raptured, but we really are going to be raptured, folks. It's coming. They're going to a lot of extent to try to cover up the rapture, the pre-tribulation rapture. Um, uh, the, the UFOs, they don't go back to ancient aliens. They go back to Nazi Germany. You can look up these models, the Horton Ho 225, the Hanabu Flying Saucers 1, 2, 3, and 4. The Vril Flying Saucer, V-R-I-L. I mean, I I'm telling you folks, there's many models that the Nazis created, but the first one that could vertically lift off was called the Bell. All right? 
and uh, you, you can literally look up Nazi UFOs, and there's pictures of them on, online everywhere. It's not some kind of, like, hidden knowledge, okay? They have to tell us what they're going to do to us. And the, they started creating these UFOs in the Third Reich in Nazi Germany uh, because they knew the rapture was going to happen. The uh, powers that be in the world wanted this technology to come out so that way they could push the alien agenda, all right? We know that the principalities and powers of darkness are probably behind all of this stuff as well. But what I'm trying to say is, folks, is that they are preparing to cover up the pre-tribulation rapture when it happens. And I do truly believe that they have that capability now, the technology like uh, Project Blue Beam, where they can project holograms. I mean, look up, if you don't believe in ho that holograms can look real, look up Tupac Resurrection. And then they also did uh, one for America's Got Talent. They had Elvis Presley on stage for America's Got Talent. So what I'm trying to say is, is holograms are even real. Uh, they're going to set up an image in front of the, the temple of God that lives and talks. I believe that this will be some form of AI hologram. Uh, it's all coming together, folks. The technology is all here that, that, that is needed to be able for Satan to be able to try to deceive the world.